Welcome back and to step six of our six step process on carrying out a risk assessment. Well done for getting this far and working through the series of steps. If this is your first time with us, please go to my YouTube channel where you'll be able to watch the introductory video to the series and videos going through the first five steps. Now that your risk assessments are complete, there needs to be a process in place to ensure that they are reviewed and updated as and when required. Things do change over time and therefore current risk assessments need to reflect changes, especially if these changes introduce additional hazards. There's no hard and fast rules in relation to the period required for your review. Many organisations set a one to three year review period. Whatever period you choose, bear the following questions in mind. Has there been any significant changes since the last risk assessment? Are there improvements that still need to be undertaken? Has there been an issue identified by workers which was not covered in the original assessment? Has accidents or near miss events identified things that were not present in the original assessment? That's it. You've completed our six steps to carrying out a risk assessment. Let's recap. Step one, you need to list all activities that might cause harm and therefore require a risk assessment. Step two, list all potential hazards involved in each activity. Remember to break down each activity into component tasks and then list the hazards. Step three, list who may be harmed and how they could be harmed. Don't forget that it's not just employees, but others that might be affected by what you do. Step four, evaluate the risk by listing the things that you are already doing to reduce harm. Step five, document your findings. If you have five or less employees, this is not required by law, but I would recommend that all risk assessments are documented. Step six, we just covered this step, which is the review. Thank you for taking the time to go through these series of videos. I hope that you have found them helpful in allowing you to start the process of carrying out risk assessments. I know that I have kept this series very simple and therefore you might feel that you just need more information or additional support. That's okay. Do get in touch. It would be great to hear from you. I have listed my contact details below. All my contact details are also in the description section of each of the videos. And as a bonus, if you sign up to my email list, and mention that you've been through this training series, I will send you a number of items, including a fully configured risk assessment template. So bye for now, and hope to see you soon for another of our teaching videos.